FIFA 19 sucked. People are saying that EAFC 24 is the worst FIFA of all time, but of all the terrible FIFA games we've had, FIFA 19 has to be the worst, not just because it was terrible at the time, but also because of what it's led to for future FIFA games. Let's start with the new game mode that was introduced for FIFA 19, Division Rivals. You know, the game mode that everyone hates right now, it is more sweaty than foot champs. This game mode was replacing online seasons, or divisions, from previous FIFAs, because EA doesn't know what their player base actually wants, or maybe they know us too well and understands we're all masochists, you know, one or the other. First, you had five players placement matches to see what division you'd be put into right away. So if you won three games and lost two, you'd be put into division five, skipping all of the previous divisions. This is f***ing stupid. Part of the fun of Ultimate Team back then was grinding from division 10 all the way to division one, all while getting rewards along the way. But never mind that, you can just skip half the divisions because you won three games. Yes you did, yes you did. This was also the start of weekly rewards, the dumbest thing Thing about division rivals. To get rewards now, you'd have to increase your rank by playing and winning games, which you only got at the end of the week. No more going at your own pace or getting rewards for promotion. You gotta wait because that's EA's idea of fun. Waiting in line, being stuck in traffic, EA's favorite thing in a video game was probably trailing missions. On top of that, your rank was based on other players. That means, if you played a lot of games in a week, no, it doesn't matter because the Sweats played a hundred games more than you and prevented you from getting rank 1 rewards. Again, no more going at your own pace like you could in previous FIFAs where your progress was saved in divisions. Do you have no time to play that week? Yeah, no worries. You'll still be exactly where you left it, no matter how long it takes. Maybe you got time to kill during winter break or a vacation. Cool. You can play four or five seasons that week and get rewarded for each of them. Them without having to wait. All of this has led to the current status of Division Rivals, a sweat fest of G Fuel filled kids where people only get 7 wins and then get the hell out because the gameplay and the meta is awful. And you want to know what the sad thing is? The meta was worse in FIFA 19. Every year, people say that it's the worst meta yet, that the current FIFA game is just the worst, but FIFA 19 had the worst meta I have ever had the displeasure of seeing, and I played through the directional nutmeg meta. The multiple metas were just mind-numbingly terrible. It didn't really matter if you were actually good at the game or not, because you could just flick it up to a player and bike it from the top of the box because EA's knowledge of football exclusively comes from Shaolin soccer. Did you know this is the only footage of the sport that they've actually seen? Bicycles from the top of the box, La Croquetas from kickoff, timed finesse shots, El Tornado crosses to the back post to one of the most meta players in FIFA history. You had to use center backs at fullback just to give yourself a chance to defend those crosses and it still didn't matter. The game was a broken mess with no true skill, and the metas proved it. The sad thing is that underneath all of those terrible metas, the content of the game was actually really solid. You still had actual league SBCs, where you needed players from each individual team in the league in order to complete a segment, and you ended up getting packs from each team you finished, and a player once the entire league was completed. Icon SBCs were abundant and priced fairly, and this was when icons in your team actually meant something worthwhile. Almost every single icon in the game had an SBC that you could do, and because of the bronze pack method being a great way to make coins and get players due to the league SBCs, you could complete these players fairly easily. You also had the standard content that we see now with various promos and SBCs, so if you didn't want to complete an icon SBC, you could put your stuff into those other SBCs. I still remember completing Moments Bird Camp for a cheap price and was so excited to try them out because I'm an Arsenal fan. And that's all I really want from FIFA. A game where I can use players that I enjoy from any overall and where I can play the style of soccer that I want, but do I have some news for you? Not only did Burkamp feel like the most worthless pile of garbage that I've ever used, but I was punished in-game by not using the metas because the gameplay was inconsistent and the core mechanics were terrible. I think from this point EA knew they could get away with producing any game, good or not, because some people genuinely enjoyed FIFA 19's gameplay. I mean, yeah, I missed 18 1v1s when I did everything correctly and all my players feel like trucks. 
But, but, but my team, look at my team. While the metas themselves were obviously very stupid, as long as I can play in my own style of play, then it's fine. I don't care that much, but I was prevented from doing so and forced to do those stupid metas. In any other FIFA game, I hate when someone abuses the meta because it makes me think they aren't good enough at the game. But in FIFA 19, I didn't blame a single person for doing flick up crosses, La Croqueta, or any other meta. I still hated them, don't get me wrong, but I understood why they had to do it. The core mechanics and gameplay were so bad that again, you were forced into using the meta more than in any other FIFA. I keep harping about 1v1 finishing, but it truly was the most frustrating thing to deal with. So you're telling me that this chance right here, that doesn't go in, that's, that's a no, but this is an appropriate way to score, yeah? You, you're taking inspiration from Shaolin soccer again? And it wouldn't even matter if you got to a 1v1 position anyway, because this was the first year manual goalkeeping was introduced, and they were stupid fast. Jesus Christ, this really was the worst FIFA of all time. If you think keeper movement's bad now, it was infinitely worse back then, because the speed of these keepers made me want to jump off a five-story building. This is part of the reason why people had to do those ridiculous metas, because simple things like finishing a 1v1 were made impossible by stupid core mechanics. I mean, Jesus, Quop has better core mechanics. You saw the same stuff every single game, and with how overpowered the defensive AI was, it made the game boring as hell. Look at FIFA 17. I'm building up, making good passes, the game's at a faster pace. It was genuinely a fun game, and people had different squads. You could play your own style of football. It was simply a much better game. Great move, great goal.